broadcast. The Providence Civic Center was built to bring entertainment and business to the area, but it's had problems recently. New Center 12's Brian Rooney explains in this first of two-part report. <laughs> This is the rock group KISS. They bill themselves as the loudest band in rock and roll. But nobody heard them in Providence Saturday night. They were in the Worcester Central. KISS was supposed to play Providence this weekend, but not enough tickets sold and the concert was canceled. That happened for a variety of reasons. One of them is the group's waning popularity. But the result, now too frequent, no show in Providence. It's real strange. I mean, your guess is as good as ours because we've always loved playing Providence. I mean, we play Providence every time we're on tour. The $14 million Providence Civic Center, which opened in 1972, has lost money for the last two years. Over $98,000 in 1981 and $115,000 in 1982. With only Providence College basketball as its major sports tenant, the Civic Center depends upon rock and roll as its big source of income. Of 135 events, last year's 25 rock concerts brought in half the center's gross receipts of $6.3 million. But rock is in a recession. Kids are pouring their money into video games. Records aren't selling, and fewer rock bands are on tour. Added to that is the street violence that sometimes goes with the Providence concerts. Roving gangs have harassed and even severely beaten concert goers. The Civic Center, in the face of growing competition, has also added a 5% ticket surcharge to help the city pay the building debt. And amidst all this, the center has been operating for nearly six months with a temporary director, and more recently, a lame duck board of directors. It doesn't have to be this way. 35 miles up the road, the fledgling Worcester Centrum is thriving. In business since September, the Centrum is doing double the business expected and hopes to wipe out a first-year deficit of $300,000. You can no longer sit and wait for the phone to ring and expect acts to be calling you and uh, unique, to, especially unique type events and saying, hey, we're interested in playing the Providence Civic Center. That doesn't happen anymore. Last week, the Centrum had a business show, a tractor pull, and Saturday night, Kiss's biggest crowd this year, 10,000 screaming, money-paying rock fans. So what has the Worcester Centrum got that Providence hasn't? What is Worcester doing that Providence isn't? And can Providence pull itself back up? We'll take a look at that tomorrow. In Providence, Brian Rooney, New Center 12. Still ahead, Mike Gorman has the results.